A North Shore woman here on Oahu is taking on Equifax as part of a class action lawsuit that seeks to force the company to better protect all of our information. We first learned about the Equifax data breach back in July. The company is tasked with monitoring and protecting our information, but it was breached, exposing the sensitive information of more than 145 million people. Equifax says the breach occurred between mid-May and July. Tonight, Jim Boniza goes beyond the headlines. Jen? Dash, I sat down with the attorney representing Terry Galpin, who recently filed a class action lawsuit against Equifax. I wanted to know what's being done to hold Equifax accountable for the breach. Your social security number is what identifies you for your life. Um, and so when you see things on the news like the Equifax breach, you have to be proactive. You need to take it seriously. Terry Galpin is a victim of identity theft. She's been dealing with it for 11 years. And now she's one of the representatives in a class action lawsuit against Equifax. If your information gets stolen, I'm telling you right now, the anxiety that it's going to cause you and what you're going to have to do to prove that you're who you are. I spoke with Brandy Faria, the attorney who filed the lawsuit, to find out what she hopes to accomplish. This is the largest breach in American history, maybe even the world. When you sit here and you think about Tutu, who um, uh, her life savings is in a 401k, and, you know, she's... It's a scary thought. It's a scary thought that somebody would have access to that. Faria says that between 700 and 900,000 people could be impacted by the breach here in Hawaii. That's two out of every three adults. The class action lawsuit includes everyone, even if they haven't been named. And people will have the choice to opt out. What is the end goal? What are you trying to accomplish with this? Well, I mean, at the end of the day, to a certain extent, we want to change policy. Faria is hopeful, but says it won't happen overnight. The amount of time a, a, a data breach of this sort is, is going to take to be litigated is going to be years. I contacted Equifax to see what changes they are making. In a written statement, they tell me, we have taken short-term remediation steps and continue to implement and accelerate long-term security improvements. Faria says she wants to hold Equifax accountable. If there's financial harm that has resulted, because for some people there will be, you know, Equifax should be required to make them whole. I reached out to the Attorney General's office. They say they are not aware of any cases of identity theft here in Hawaii so far directly linked to the Equifax data breach. I'll keep you updated on this case.